Hi there. In this lecture, we're going to download and install Python on our Mac computer. If you're using Windows or any other operating system, these steps are going to be pretty much identical. It's very, very easy to do this, so just follow along with me. I'm going to open up my browser here and type in Python 3. And here's the Python 3 website. 3 is the latest version. Python 2 is outdated, okay? It's no longer supported, so uh, the Mac operating system by default comes with Python 2, we want to be dealing with Python 3, okay? If you click on Downloads here, you get actually the latest uh, download here, which is Python 3.8 at the time of this recording. So, uh, or you can actually download it using this button. So I'm going to click this button, and the package will be downloaded. Now, let's open this uh, folder up, and uh, this is just a very easy wizard. You just keep clicking Continue, um, read through some of this Continue, and Agree. And we're just going to continue to do this and now we'll install. Now it's asking me for my desktop password. I'm going to enter that here. And now the installation will begin. So now it's installing on our machine, Python 3. And there we go. Congratulations, Python 3 is installed. So we can close out of this. You can move that installer to the trash. We don't need that anymore. And um, in our Applications folder here, uh, you should see Python 3.8. If I click on this, it opens this folder here, uh, which contains um, the Python libraries, and Idle uh, is a software that's used to type Python code. So I can just open this up and start typing Python in here. All right? We're actually going to use a much more user-friendly tool, uh, an integrated development environment, an IDE, uh, to type our Python code rather than using this shell uh, like uh, software that uh, comes as part of Python. So let's do that. The IDE that we're going to be using in this course is uh, going to be PyCharm. So I'm just going to type that here, PyCharm. Um, another very popular one is Atom. So you can choose either or, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to click on Py PyCharm right here. And uh, you can click on Download. And there are two versions. There's the professional version, which is paid. It offers some more uh, features, such as being able to write HTML and CSS and JavaScript and SQL file support. And you know, for web development, professional is used, um, as well as some other data science related applications. But we're going to be dealing with the bare bones Python first, learning the basics of Python. And for that, we're going to need the community edition for now. Later, we might upgrade to that. So let's click on download. And um, here it wants us to enter our email address. You don't have to do any of this. It's a community software, so it started the download uh, immediately. So in a few moments, the download will be complete, and we'll install PyCharm on our machine. And there we go. The DMG file has been downloaded. Now I just click on that file to open it up. And there we go. Now we just drag this into our Applications folder. Okay, and it copied that program over into applications, and now we have PyCharm on our machine. So we could just close out of all of this. Now let's open up PyCharm. I could just open it up with my Spotlight Search, PyCharm right here, or you can go to your Applications folder, uh, whichever way. Uh, you can go ahead and open it up, and just keep this Do Not Import Settings selected for now. Click on OK. And you're going to confirm that you've read all of this and make sure you do, I've read it. And then click on Continue. Um, and we don't need to be sending usage statistics. doesn't really matter, but I'm going to click on Don't Send. So here it is. Here are two options. It says I've used Python, PyCharm before or I have never used PyCharm before. So this is a fresh installation. I'm just going to use this, and it gives us some handy shortcuts uh, in case we want to uh, you know, run the program uh, using the keyboard shortcuts. And I do that often. Uh, to speed development up, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm actually going to be uh, using the UI and clicking run so that you can see every step of the way what I'm doing, okay? So you don't miss a heartbeat. And so now that we've selected this part, I'm just going to click on uh, Next, UI Themes. You can select the different themes. You can either choose Light or Dark, uh, Dracula. I think this sounds really cool, so I'm going to select that and click on Next. And now it's saying, uh, it's basically telling us where it's going to be downloading, or rather uh, configuring the launcher script. Not important to go over this right now. All you have to do is just click on Skip Remaining uh, and Set Defaults. So we'll select that 
And so there we go. So now let's create our first Python project. I'm going to click on create new project. And you can name this project anywhere you'd like, but keep a note of where exactly it's being created. So it's in the home directory uh, in the PyCharm projects folder. And here is the name of the project. So I'm just going to call this project Hello World. It doesn't matter what you call it, but uh, this is a Hello World basic program. So that's what I chose there, a canonical name for a beginner project. And so then we click on this uh, arrow button here to choose the project interpreter. Now you might be wondering, what is an interpreter? It's actually a very simple concept. An interpreter is something that interprets a programming language. Okay, So we're going to be writing code that human beings can read and understand. Okay, We're going to be literally typing English. But the computer doesn't under understand English. The computer understands only ones and zeros. So what an interpreter does is it interprets the code that human beings write Right? It interprets that code and converts it, translates it into computer code, into ones and zeros, so that the computer can run our instructions. Okay, So that's all an interpreter is. Right? Okay, So we have a couple of options here. We can use the uh, Python 3.8 interpreter, which is the one we just installed, or we can use the older one. Now, older one is no longer supported. Okay, So we're going to stick with Python 3.8. This is the one we just installed. So we click on that and click on Create. And there we go. There's a handy wizard here to go over the tips or whatever. You can go through that um, in your own time, but I'm going to close through this and walk you through uh, creating our first program. So let's go ahead and actually create our first program here. If you expand here, uh, there's a bin folder, there's a lib folder. We'll talk about the contents of this folder later, but what I'm going to do first is right-click on the actual project name, which is Hello World, right-click on it, and go to New Python File. And we'll call this file application. Okay, so let's hit enter, and this is our application.py file. So let's create our first program. Now, before I write any code, notice the cursor is pretty small, so I'd like you to be able to read everything that I type on this in this course. So we're going to increase the font size here. So to increase the font size, you could just click on this PyCharm option up there, go to Preferences, and you'll have this Editor tab. Click on Editor, and it'll open up Font. Click on font and change the size from 12 to something like uh, 18. Um, that's what I'm going to choose to record in this course. I want you to make sure you read everything that I'm typing. And so you'll be able to read mostly everything I type now. As a matter of fact, I think we can increase the size to 20. So let's do that. Let's go to Preferences, uh, Font, and let's change this to 20. That should be even better. There we go. Now let me just increase the size of this so we uh, cover everything. And so let's create our first program. I'm going to print to the screen uh, the words, Hello World. Okay, so we can do print. And then in parentheses, I'm going to use double quotes or single quotes. It doesn't really matter as long as you use quotes. And you're going to type in Hello World. And now we can go to this on the top, this Run tab, and click on Run. And it's going to ask us, what do we want to run? We're going to run this application. And there we go. Notice it, it printed the words, hello world. And notice it says, process finished with exit code 0. When you have an exit code 0, that means everything was correctly executed. There was no errors. If you see any other code here with 1 or, or some other number, that means that there was an error. And usually, it displays the error here in this console. And we're going to get into the details of how to debug your applications when we run into error cases. But for now, this is our first simple program. Now, I want you to pay attention to where this file is actually created. Okay? Notice it's in users, MT as a mod, my home directory, and then PyCharm projects, hello world project. And this is the file. So this file is actually the one that is being run. And a project, a Python project, can have hundreds or even thousands of files. This is just one of them. So we're going to be building upon this uh, as we move on in the course. But I'll show you later how you can actually run this file as a script, OK? Uh, because Python is a scripting language. And you're going to learn more about what that actually means. But I just want to bring to you your attention that you can actually run this file uh, the way it is right in your terminal. Right? And this is a, a terminal is basically a, a command prompt. Uh, not important to go over those details right now, but this is basically what a terminal looks like. And you can actually go to that file and run it uh, in your command prompt as well. Okay, So if you got this far, congratulations. You've created your first 
simple Python program, and this is just the beginning. We're going to learn a lot more Python, and uh, by the time you're done with this course, you should be job ready. That's the entire intent, right? And so let's uh, wrap up this lecture. I'm going to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.